Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with a favorites video. And this is gonna be lifestyle and makeup. And I'm gonna jump right into this. I've got some really good stuff. I'm gonna start with a beauty product. I think I only have one beauty product, but it is a big love. Okay, I have, you know, off and on used and loved setting sprays but recently what has made me fall back in love with especially this urban decay all-nighter and also some the matte fix plus but this is really my favorite is the urban decay all-nighter what i love this for is to keep my forehead from being just an oil slick. About halfway through the day, I just feel like I need to wipe my forehead off and it feels like thick and like I wanna wipe my makeup off and just messy. So I had tried several of these mattifying primers and I liked the Milk Fine. It helped, but it didn't totally get rid of it. I mean, it wasn't that impressive, but it did help. And then I tried the Smashbox Oil Control, and I think I liked this one better. But one day, I don't remember why, I picked this up and sprayed it. It was noticeable through the day. It just stayed, I want to say dry as a bone, but not overly, like my skin didn't feel dry, but my makeup felt not messy at all. It just feels like skin. And so I put this over on Instagram and one of my girls over there said that she had seen somebody put their foundation on their hand or actually on a palette. I put it on my hand and then spray some on your foundation and put it on like that. And I did that and that works too. If you don't like misting your face because sometimes, you know, it can kind of spit at it, but that works great. I usually still will do a little bit of the mist and the Mac fix plus works it works good but i think that the urban decay all nighter is just a hair better so i've ordered another one of these and i'm going to spray this one onto my foundation and then mist with this y'all it makes your makeup look good all day okay my next kind of beauty product is something big blast from the past and one of you girls told me about this a long time ago. I think it was Holly. This is the Treat Banana Cream Lip Balm. And this is what I've been picking up just, you know, before I go to bed. I love the smell of it. It reminds me it's giant, like the Bonnie Bell Lip Smackers a long time ago. Oh, the smell of it. And I think they have other really luscious smells like coconut, but the banana cream. This is the only one I've had, and I love this at night. Um, in the wintertime when my lips are drier, I will go back to the Lancome Juicy Tubes, which really coat your lips. You know, in the winter, they just peel. But I'll put this over it. I just really like it, and it tastes sweet. I think it's sweetened with stevia. <laughs> I think I looked that up a long time ago. All right, and that is all my beauty products. I've got a couple of, I don't know what you would call them, um, kind of toiletries. The first one, okay, I mentioned in another video, but if you didn't see it, I had my eyes done. I had an upper lower bluff and um, some pretty serious laser under my eyes, and I love it. But right after I had that done, when you first have that done, for some reason your eyes just really dry out. I'll tell you they are fine now. They're back to normal, but right after, for a good three weeks to a month after, my doctor had told me to pick this up. This is going to be good for a lot of y'all. This is this is by Refresh, and it's called Lacrolube. And it is like a petroleum jelly. And you put it on your finger, and then you just dab it on your eye. I would just like wipe it on my eye and then blink and kind of, you know, massage it through your lashes. You cannot see with this. You can't do it during the day, and it's for a good long time, so only at bedtime. And then even in the morning, I would wake up, and I would have, I could tell I had done it, um, and I would have to, you know, wipe with a warm cloth to get this off. If you suffer with dry eyes, I can't recommend this highly enough. 
it, this makes gel drops look like water, like nothing. Refresh Lacra Lube. It is so good. Okay, my next thing is, okay, I have talked about Poshmark before. Well, recently I looked around and all of my perfumes that I ordered in my big heyday last year, I was ordering like five perfumes a month, maybe more sometimes. Well, this is not even a fraction of what I had. These are my daily perfumes that I leave sitting out. So I thought all of those are just sitting there. They were in my closet just sitting there. And I thought, I'm going to see, you know, just to sell a couple of them. So I put a perfume or two on Mercari, sold those. And I thought, oh, that was fun because, you know, I'm selling them for a lot of times 50, depending on what it is. I sold a Tom Ford for over a hundred. That was a full bottle. It was a good deal for them, but put money in my pocket. I wasn't using it. It was the, the um, Soleil Blanc, Soleil Blanc. I'm allergic to that. It makes me sneeze. So I sold that. I sold a bunch of duplicate perfumes. I sold so much that I was about to have to um, do taxes on it. And I thought, I'm not going to have to do taxes on Mercari. So I moved over to Poshmark and I've sold a bunch over there and I really weeded stuff out. And then I went over to my makeup and thought all of these blushes that are just sitting there. I had some Chanel, some Dior, my really good ones that are worth the effort to box it up and ship it out and put it on. I'm not going to sell even a Clinique is going to bring maybe 10 bucks. I don't do that. If you just have a bunch of stuff just sitting around that you're not using, post it up on Mercari. I ended up making at least $600 on it because um, I was going to have to do taxes. So I know I made at least $600. So love Mercari. I like Mercari for selling better than Poshmark. Poshmark people, they really will try to talk you down. They're cheap up there. <laughs> they are. My Mercari people would be like, yeah, I'll take that. So I like Mercari better for selling, but I like them both for buying. Okay, y'all, okay, recently you probably are aware that skinny jeans have gone out. I was so excited, I can't even tell you, because I never really got on board with skinny jeans. I'm stuck in the 90s. You may can tell by my style. I was forever looking for boyfriend jeans, which are looser. That's what everybody's wearing now. Boyfriend jeans, barrel jeans. Girlfriend jeans, they're a more relaxed fit. So I have loaded up. And my favorite ones that I have found so far, let me know your favorites if you love this style, this looser, relaxed style. And I'm going to show you that my favorites are from The Gap. And the ones I have on are Mid-Rise Boyfriend. And what I like about these is that they are a little bit thinner of a denim and really relaxed. Y'all, this style, I'll tell you, I'm 5'6", and I weigh between 126 and 135, six. My legs are a little bit long, so I always order a four tall. These are regular, and you can tell that I need this to be down here, so I'm gonna order more in a tall. I love the length, and I have them rolled up a little bit. And I just love these. These are very relaxed. The denim's a little bit thinner on them, so they lay nice and flat. They don't add any bulk to your body. And again, these are the Mid-Rise Boyfriend. I also ordered the Girlfriend Mid-Rise Washwell. Now these, I love. I wore these last night. They're a little bit thicker of a denim, still a tiny bit. They don't have as much give as these. These feel like maybe a nicer denim, but when you get that thicker denim, you're also adding a little bit more bulk to your frame, which I'm never a fan of, but I do love these. You can tell they're nice and roomy. They've got little rips up here, but these are nice enough I can wear them to go show a house or to do an open house in and put a blazer with them. These I would never do that because of the rips. These have just enough rip that you can put a blazer on and then take the blazer off and be a little more casual. So 
Love those. Okay, and I'm going to try to show you <sighs> shoes. These are by Steve Madden. And I looked, I bought them earlier in the summer, and I, but I looked and they still have them. I love these so much because they're so comfortable. They look like you have a little bit of a heel without having a heel because they just have a little bit of a platform. I have worn the dog out of these all summer. And these are the Jacqueline. And I wear an eight and a half in them. They're $75. These, I, I bought another pair. I have a box of these in here because I do not want to be without these. And they're just, you can tell, I've worn <laughs> them out. They're cute with jeans and a blazer. They're cute with trouser pants. They're cute with skinny jeans, everything. They dress up, they dress down, and they are so comfortable. They don't have a buckle. Um, they just slide on. I can't tell you how easy these are to put on. I can't wear anything at an incline because I had ankle surgery in 2015. It's never going to get better. Okay, hold on. I'm going to point this down a little bit. Well, yeah. There we go. Now you can see up closer. So I cannot tell you how much I love these. They are just, they're good for everything. Dressy, casual, everything. Okay, y'all. <laughs> This may be my favorite purse I've ever had. If Frances Happiness Sparkles is watching this, she may attack the screen when she sees it. This, she loves Doonies. My husband went out and bought this for me when I had my eye surgery. We were staying in South Lake at a hotel and he would go and shop and stuff and eat and then come back and be like, you all right? <laughs> but he, he bought this for me when I was there. Um, and I love how Dooney has started putting the big DB on things. And I love the fun pink. This is perfect for work. It's good for my laptop. It's the perfect size for my legal folders. I take it to open houses, to anywhere when you need, you know, just a big bag. Hang on. Let me show you. This is the perfect, fun work purse, really for anything. I've taken it to lunch. Yesterday, I took it to Bible study. It fit both of my study books and my big old Bible fit in this, and a Yeti on the side. <laughs> so this is, I will link it down below. I always want to call it a clutch, but it's not a clutch. <sighs> what is it? I'll put it right here. I don't know, but I... Love this. I may need it in more colors. Okay, I got this at Barnes & Noble. And y'all are probably all going to be like, yeah, girl, we all have that. <laughs> this is a lap desk. Do y'all all have a lap desk? I didn't. And what I love this so much for is every night my husband and I go in and watch a show, like we probably all do. And I will take this with me. And if I've broken a nail during the day, I'll do my nails on it. Um, I usually nest at the TV. I take, oh, I don't know. I'll have a book and I have my Yeti and I have sometimes my computer I'll be carrying on it, nails. And I can just stack it all on this and carry it around the house, <laughs> you know. So I make one trip to and from the living room and it's just, it's the best. And then it's got a little spot right here where your computer can rest. Pins don't fall off. Nails. I rest my nail glue there. I love this so much. Got it at Barnes & Noble. I don't know if it matters about the... I'll link it. But I don't know that it matters about the brand. Just a lap desk. You know, from anywhere. But I love this one. So, loving my lap desk. Okay. All right. And then my last thing. I thought about making this a spiritual part but this could be for any of us and it's the shows that i'm watching i am watching some really good classic shows that i've never seen before because i don't really care for fantasy and science fiction and i don't remember what dystopic dystopic i don't really enjoy those but i was recently looking for shows to watch on netflix Y'all, 
we turned on five to ten shows. The F word was in it so much. I couldn't even focus on the dialogue. And I just finished watching Homeland. I will, I will probably watch more than I should. I will kind of push through on some things. I could not. And I told my husband, I'm so sorry, but I, can't, I just cannot. I'm not going to do it. The, like the F word five times in the first two minutes. It, it really would be just good enough for them just to stand over there and just say the F word. And the, um, just the vile things that are said, I am just not going to do it anymore. And I'm not trying to be a goody two-shoes or tell you you shouldn't. But if that bothers you as well, I have some great shows we have watched. Since we quit watching those, we've watched Lord of the Rings. Excellent. I usually wouldn't like that. The Hobbit. Excellent. And we will watch like half a movie a night and really kind of draw it out. Then we watched Maze Runner, all three of those. We watched Divergent, all three of those or four. Then we watched Four Hunger Games. Excellent. I enjoyed it. As much as anything else we've been watching, I enjoyed it. Um, and then now we're watching all of the Twilights. It is so good. Bad. But anyway, those shows are so good and not one cuss word or vile topic coming up is so nice. I'm enjoying it so much. So if that bothers you, you know, I was going to, again, make that spiritual, but you know, you could be of any faith and that could bother you or just not like, you know, the vile language. So if that bothers you, I'm going to list our favorite shows below. We have been loving it. Right now, we just finished the second Twilight. It is so, so good. So anyway, if you know shows that you think I would like, list those down below and I'll list mine. And I think that's all of my favorites. Y'all down below, let me know anything that you have been loving lately. And that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.